Hey, I'm Jeanette McCurdy, and you're on OceanUp.com. I'm part of the Bird's Eye Gen Veg campaign, and this is this whole new movement that is encouraging kids to get creative with their vegetables and to not view veggies as something that's, uh, that's gross or that's like, oh, I gotta eat my veggies. Uh, it's telling kids, no, vegetables are cool. Just figure out how to use them right. I have met Mrs. Obama. It was very exciting. We actually did an episode with her uh, last year, an episode by Carly, and she came on our show and helped promote her uh, Joining Forces initiative. And working with her was amazing, and then um, we actually did a military base tour to promote the episode, and once again, got to see her in Washington, D.C., and we got a tour of the White House, which was amazing. <laughs> My favorite vegetable is corn and broccoli, definitely, and asparagus. Growing up, I hated, and I still hate, cauliflower. It's the one I just can't get past. I just don't, I don't like it. Uh, I love sauteed asparagus. Mm. And I love these, I love these uh, grilled Brussels sprouts with balsamic vinaigrette that they make at a restaurant on Sunset. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love me some ice cream. And it's, it's bad, like I really, really super like ice cream. And it just makes me happy and uh, it's unfortunate. I wish ice cream were healthier. <laughs> Cookies and cream. Oh my goodness. If anybody puts cookies and cream ice cream in front of me, I will I will have it. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> food weakness. If not ice cream, geez. It's funny, it's kind of Sam-esque, but I really do. I like meat a lot. I love ribs. Um, I love chicken. I try and eat fish a lot, um, since that kind of gets the, gets the meat craving down, but I really do love meat. <laughs> Um, my diet exercise routine is I definitely I try to get vegetables in as much as possible and I feel like if you if you reach for a vegetable or a fruit when you go to the fridge um, you're satisfying your hunger but you're also doing yourself a favor so that's kind of um, that's basic you know my dietary kind of what I grab for I also I write down what I eat because that really helps and uh, sometimes it, you can forget really what you've consumed and you'll you'll just grab for something and you you won't remember like, oh wait, no, I'm good. I've had this, this, and this. So try to write it down. That helps. And um, I take Psychoates, <laughs> which is very fun, and it's a combination of Pilates and um, it's like a spin class. And I also, I go to the gym pretty pretty regularly. Uh, I do just, you know, basic. I do elliptical or treadmill or stationary bike, and then light like five pounds three weeks. <laughs> For the past few months, I've really been trying to buckle down on my uh, kind of my gym regimen because I had fallen off of it with working so much, and um, I I definitely felt a difference in how clear my head was, and um, working out just makes me feel so much better about everything. So I've been definitely more on top of it lately, and I try not to have more than six days off a month. So that's kind of you got to juggle them, and um, it really saying that makes it so that I, I have to go if I don't want to fill up my six days too too fast. We just shot our iCarly series finale, and honestly, it was, I knew it was going to be devastating because I love everybody in that cast and crew so much, but it was ten times more difficult than I even had anticipated. Our table read, everybody was crying, and um, then on our final day of shooting, uh, I couldn't even get, I couldn't get through our final scene, I couldn't say my lines because I was just, like, convulsive crying. It was, it was very, uh, very extreme. But um, you know it's it's bittersweet onto onto new fun things. But saying goodbye to such a an awesome awesome time. The series finale definitely delivers. I think there was definitely an unspoken pressure on our on our writers and our executive producer Dan Schneider to make something that uh, satisfied the fans in a big way because we do have such a large uh, fan following and. I mean, that's what's kept us on for so long, 110 episodes, so uh, basically their objective in writing the episode was to satisfy them, and I think they did a magnificent job at it because there's a certain amount of closure 
um, loose ends or tied up any a lot of questions that fans might have had through the past five seasons that they thought they're never going to be answered. They are answered. Um, I, I definitely I think all the fans are going to love it. I know me reading it, uh, it, it was I laughed out loud. I, I cried. It was it was an experience, and I hope fans see it this the same way. Post at Carly, I actually am starting on my own show. Uh, we're taping the pilot in August. And I'm really thrilled because Dan Schneider, who executive produces and created iCarly, Drake and Josh, The Women on One, um, all the really great Nickelodeon shows of the past decade, he's the one uh, making this show. So I'm really glad to, to know that he's in charge of it because there's no one that I would trust more than Dan. 30 Rock. Mm, SNL and 30 Rock. Something by Katy Perry. You're s maybe... Ooh, uh, probably something from one of the boys. Favorite top 40 song would be... Mm, something by Andy Grammer or Jesse J. Hey, thanks. Ocean up.